Hey, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and I'm back with my Woody quadcopter here and working with the Omnibus F4 and just trying to see if I could figure out how to tune the PIDs. We thought in the last video that the pitch was a little bit too much and it was rocking back and forth. So what I've done is I've added a knob here to my radio or added a programmed in a feature to this knob, I should say, so that I can adjust the gains for the pitch on this knob here, specifically the uh, P gain. So I'm going to adjust the P gain with this knob. Okay, so let's take it outside and see what it does. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Okay, recording should be started. Okay, so we got six satellites right now. Like to have a few more. Don't know if I'll get them right away. Uh, so I've got the pitch down in the left hand corner as we discussed. And right now it's on about 40. Yeah, yeah there we go. So you can see it's 40 down there at the bottom, just to the right of where it says pit on the left. It's 40. Now I'd like to change that up, or actually move it down a little bit before I fly. Let's just try 30. We'll go with 30 right there. Okay, it should be in the middle. Okay, so starting out just with 30 on the P, and we'll see what happens. Okay, right now just in angle mode, no altitude hold or anything. Okay, here we go. So that's a lot of oscillation. Let me see if I can bring it down. All right, so that made a lot of oscillation when I, I lowered the P. That didn't look good at all. I don't know how I get out of that. I guess I just raised the stick. There we go. Let's raise the stick up and back down, okay? So 30 on the P was terrible. That just made it, and I didn't even get to get in GPS mode. Let's try, let's try back at 40. Okay, now it seems back to normal. Try altitude hold. Oh, that air mode and altitude hold mode is wild. Oh, yeah, I couldn't handle that air mode. And I lost it. So I guess that's the end of that test. Okay, I'm back and here's the rubble. As you can see, it's a real big mess. So here's what it looks like, quite a mess. But as I said, when I put it into altitude hold and it was an air mode, I had air mode and altitude hold combined. And I think the reason I did that is because there was a thing on GitHub that said it would land much better if you had air mode on. Well, I didn't realize that they were talking about probably racing quads and not an aerial photography quad like this one. So when I flipped it into air mode, I wasn't ready for that extra maneuverability and it was all over the place and not being a fast thinker, I forgot to flip the switch back into either GPS. I could have gone GPS, would have been a little risky, but I should have just gone back to angle mode and then I could have got control of it. But I didn't and it crashed, so here I am. Uh, so I learned that. I learned you shouldn't put air mode on it unless you're some kind of mini quad expert. And of course I didn't have goggles on either, so I would have had to be some kind of fancy helicopter flyer to control it in air mode. And I'm not, so I lost control. And then the other thing I learned is that lowering the P gains really didn't help when I was in angle mode. When I lowered the P gains, it was worse. It was very unstable, so lowering the P gains on, on that didn't help. But what I don't know is do these standard P gains actually, or PIDs, the standard PIDs that I'm tweaking, do they actually apply to the 
you know, position hold or GPS hold because it seems like now what I'm learning is that GPS hold has a separate set of parameters that override the standard parameters. So it looks to me like I've got to look in the CLI or somewhere else for the adjustments. Just not sure and I need to do more experimentation and at this point I don't think I'm going to be able to do it for a while. This is either going to need a new frame or a lot of gluing and rebuilding. So it might be about a month before I get back to this particular project. But I'll probably be on to other things while I'm doing that and posting other videos on other subjects. I'm, I haven't given up on this because this thing really does fly good and I think it'll make a good aerial photography quad if I can just work out that GPS hold. You might want to give me some suggestions on what I should have done, but I kind of know. I should have flipped back into the regular angle mode, but wasn't fast enough. But anyway, that's it. We'll talk to you later. Oh, another thing I was thinking of doing was maybe changing the name of my channel. And I was thinking about calling it MeRC. Something good and short. This uh, retired time productions thing is just too long for people to say. And DMERC00 doesn't seem to, you know, ring a bell with anybody. It's hard to remember. So I might just go ahead and change my channel to MeRC. So what do you think about that? You might be able to give me some tips there. All right. Talk to you later.